you know, that guy in the movie with the mustache, the French detective, I think, I think for the channel's posterity and, and good things to come, I'm going to grow a mustache like that. Yeah. No? Uh, uh, they're telling me I can't. So, I probably won't. <laughs> Shut up and sit down. I gotta tell you, this movie completely blew me out of the water. It was absolutely fantastic. And by what movie you guys are talking about? Yes, you're probably wondering what I'm talking about here. Murder on the Orient Express. Oh my lord, this movie was fantastic. So let's break it down like we always do here on Midnight's Premiere. So, starting from, from the very bare bones basic beginning of any movie is the trailers, the teasers, the marketing content, context, everything of that nature. Getting it out to the people, getting it, its its name out there on the televisions and everything, the, the, the marketing and trailers for this movie were, were cut together fantastically. It was it was just an amazing, an amazing show for an amazing movie. Now, coming out in theaters. I mean, it was a movie that wasn't really going up against a lot of a lot of competition this weekend. I literally just came from the theater and saw it. And since it's you know Veterans Day, I, there was a lot of older people there, a lot of older veterans. Uh, again, veterans, thank you so much for your service uh, today. Um, and I, I got a seat. It was great. Uh, the, the the man, this just and the movie itself just blew me right out of the water. Number one, it's so star-studded, it makes you dizzy. Okay, Kenneth Branagh plays the guy with that 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 cool little mustache. His name is Herculin. Uh, Herculin uh, Perrault, and he, he, he's a very famous French detective back in the 1940s and 50s, and he can he can solve really anything. And this this is in the days before modern technology, DNA evidence, things of that nature came out at all. Okay, and he was using his mind and the evidence around him to solve these 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 crimes. He's absolutely fantastic with it. Modern day Horatio Kane, man, I gotta say, without the sunglasses, but with a cool cane and a mustache, man. And the the just the, the star power alone in this movie was just I mean, you had Kenneth Branagh as the main detective, Johnny Depp was in it, uh, Penelope Cruz, Daisy Ridley, Judy Dench, Madame Judy Dench was in this movie, and she was fantastic. Every big player on this board did their role and played it well. They just, they blew everyone out of the water. They blew their roles out of the water. They just had a lot of fun. And you can honestly tell when a cast on a movie has a lot of fun doing what they're doing. And this cast had a lot of fun in these roles that they were playing. Now, basic plot synopsis. If you haven't seen the trailers, where have you been? Have you been riding under a rock? Come on. Yeah, get a computer or something. But... It's just the most basic plot. You have 12 people on a train. There was murder. The most famous detective in the world at the time is on board. And now you have a, a case that you have to solve. It is a murder on the Orient Express. And there are 12 passengers, and he's got to narrow it down to just one so that we can all go home and sleep well at night knowing that the murderer has been brought to justice. So it was, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, I can't stop singing my praises about this movie. I loved the scenery. I loved the uh, the effects in the movie. There weren't a lot of uh, a lot of digital effects. There had to be. The train was digital and everything of this nature. The mountains they were in that was digital, to a point. Uh, the sets were absolutely fantastic. The costumes were absolutely fantastic. The 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 this is where it gets a little hairy. The things that I liked and didn't particularly love in the beginning was the opening dialogues, really. I mean, if they all sound, sound very forced to me in, in, the, in the beginning, but as the movie progressed, it's like they, they got better and they got more into their characters and it was, it was kind of a dance that just kept going up and up and up. So, and, and actually, the director was the main character of the whole movie, Kenneth Branagh. He directed 
the, the, the movie, and he starred in it as the main character, which is a feat to behold. To be the main character and the director, that's a lot of work for one person. Not, I mean, and to produce something this amazing was was nothing short of a, of a great, of a, of a miracle, really. So, now the things I didn't like, there weren't very many things. But again, there, there's some additions to the cast. Willem Dafoe, he had like this tiny little part, and there were some times when you just forgot he was actually in the movie. Um, Daisy Ridley, uh, our, our resident Jedi on the train, she, uh, you kind of forgot she was in the movie until they brought her back in. There was a lot of star power, and sometimes you just forgot that they were there. That was the only gripe that I had, really. And and the the dialogue coming into the beginning of the movie, like the first ten minutes, was a little forced. But I'm not going to count points off for it. I'm not even going to count points off with stuff I didn't like. You know, the the star power not being forgotten and everything, because you remember them when they were brought back on scene, and they were relevant to the storyline. So no points off for that blew me out of the water oh man if it they, they didn't they didn't screen it in any kind of special format i really thought they that they they missed the ball on that one in the marketing itself they, this movie would have been just twice what it was in a large format or even in a 3d i know how annoying i know how annoying 3d can get i get it i wear glasses sometimes it gives people headaches i get that those two sometimes but hey, I, I gotta call it like I see it. This movie would have been fantastic in 3D. It also would have been fantastic in a large format, but they didn't do that because a lot of the theaters right now are still plugging Thor in large format and 3D and everything, and that's just fine. Because, you know, Marvel is gonna make your, your theater money other than the um, movie that really no one really knew it was coming out. And, and the Murder on the Orient Express was, it, although put together very, very well in trailers and in marketing, it was going against the last weekend's competition for Thor, and I don't see it capping second or third, really, and that's being optimistic, but if you're looking for experience, definitely go get it at your theaters. They didn't shoot it, again, in any kind of special format, so you're dealing with regular ticket prices. Go see this. Get your experience. Get your ticket stub. Own it on Blu-ray. Because you're going to really want to rewatch this. I mean, I was sitting there in the movie theater like, who did it? I mean, was it was it the girl with the dogs? Was it uh, was it the, the Ray in the kitchen with the pipe? I mean, it was like Clue on a train in the 1930s, 50s. It was great. Oh, I, I'm gonna rewatch it. I think I'm gonna have to own this one. And I know you guys, you already know what's coming. Full moon, boom. Full moon across the scale for murder on the Orient Express. Go to the theater, get your experience. Get that ticket stub, own it on Blu-ray. You won't disappoint yourself. And there's not a lot of gore or inappropriateness, so you can actually get some of the older kids, uh, 10, 11, 12 range. You can sit them down. You can actually have them watch this movie without you know, having to cover their eyes. And little Jimmy, don't see that. No, you don't have to do that because this is actually a really cool family-friendly movie. So full moon across the scale. Go get your experience. And that about wraps it up for this review. If you guys liked what you saw, please click the like button right down below. But if you didn't, be honest with me, click that dis dislike button, comment below. I want to hear from all of you. If you guys have a specific movie or something you'd like me to review on the channel, put it down in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to try my best to get it on the internet for you. If you guys want to keep up with all the latest news and videos here on Midnight's Premiere, click the subscribe button. And as I said in my update video, we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2018. So share the crap out of this channel. Put it on all of your social media. Put it on, on a note card or a napkin. Toss it to your waitress at, at, at Denny's or wherever you are. You just do it. We can do this, guys, because you guys are amazing. And without you, this channel wouldn't exist. I wouldn't exist. So... Thank you again for your continued support, and again, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Mr. Midnight. This has been another edition of Midnight's Premiere. Thank you so much for watching.